Welcome to the Assembly of Prevailers. Say to yourself, fire prevails. I am a prevailing flame of fire. Say, fire prevails. I am a prevailing flame of fire. I have help from above. I shall not burn out. I burn with an ever increasing intensity. I shall not burn out. I have help from above. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4 verse 18 and Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Let's read the Isaiah scripture first. I would want us to read. I'll read the second one by myself. But when you get to him, put me. Because God is talking about you today. So let's read it together. The spirit of the Lord will rest on me. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of power. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of God. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4 verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is resting on you. The spirit of counsel and wisdom. Say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me is a declaration from a man, from a woman who receives the seventh dimension of help. Today is an outpouring and I've been asked to come and release the seven dimensions of help for you. Where you read in Isaiah 11 verse 2, it gives you seven dimensions that God is putting on you. It says the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, on me, the spirit of wisdom. Fire prevails. We've established the past weeks that we are living flames. Now, whenever fire is Whenever fire receives help from fear, what does it do? It burns. Whenever fire receives help from fear, it grows mightily. It prevails. It burns. It burns. It prevails against anything and everything that stands on its way. For seven full days, you have received help. Help to become a prevailing flame. Not just a flame of fire in one instance, but help to become a prevailing flame of fire because you are wired to prevail. You are wired to win. You are wired to defeat things, to overcome, to be victorious, to be triumphant. And like Paul calls it, for these seven days we have been receiving the strengthening from Christ. Today is an outpouring. Seven dimensions of help are coming upon you this morning. As you hear it, receive it. It's not going to be as ministry as usual. It's, it's God giving you seven things this morning. One, help from the Spirit of the Lord. You know, Paul enjoyed so much help from the Spirit of the Lord that at some point his aprons and kerchiefs were taken over to the sick and they received healing. And his aprons cast out demons. It, 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 it took out evil spirits from people. Today, you may stand, you may sit. Whatever you do, make sure you receive seven. That's what God is giving out. Say so today, receive the spirit of the Lord that will help you in every situation. In the name of Jesus, help is coming upon you from the spirit of the Lord. Help is coming with the spirit of the Lord covers everything. It's help that allows you to do things in ways that is beyond imagination because you've been overtaken by some other spirit that is beyond you. This is a spirit that walks with Christ. This is the spirit of Christ himself. Two, the second help that God is giving you this morning is help from the spirit of wisdom. Paul enjoyed so much wisdom. How will a man sit in prison and say, I can do all things through Christ? That was a declaration from an imprisoned man because it was no longer him. He could not be limited by time and space and seasons and situations. He had received help 
from above. He had received help from the Spirit of the Lord. He had received help from the Spirit of wisdom that he knew how to profit from his time in prison. So instead of staying in prison to wallow in depression, he used that time to address the churches, to engage the Spirit. Receive help this morning from the Spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus. Begin to walk in extraordinary wisdom. Begin to know what to do with the things God has given you. Three, help from the spirit of understanding. The men who rule this world are the people who understand how things work. The spirit of understanding helps you to discern truths from lies. You walk into business meetings and you're sitting down there and doing tumbo tumbo because you don't have help from the spirit of understanding. This morning, God is bringing you the spirit of understanding mightily in the name of Jesus. Even as I speak, he comes like a rushing wind upon this house because we are no longer allowed to walk in trial and error. Four, help from the spirit of counsel. Some of us have received bad counsels from friends because we do not understand, we do not enjoy this dimension of help. Imagine being so sufficient enough that you are getting counsel, advice from within because the Holy Spirit has rested. He's not visiting you, he's resting on you. So this morning, you be, from today, you begin to receive advice from within. It's the spirit of counsel, is the spirit of clear direction. It tells you, do, do this one, go this way, wait here, don't do that. It helps you to make plans that succeed. Paul enjoyed this. In a vision one night, he was trying to penetrate the northwestern part of Turkey. In a dream, a man came to him and said, come over to Macedonia and help us. What was that? The spirit of counsel. And instantly, he stopped trying to go through one route. He turned, packed the team, and went the other way to Macedonia, where the way he he, he prevailed in the word that he was sent this morning upon this house, upon every man, upon every child, upon every teenager, upon every woman, upon every baby. The spirit of counsel rests upon this house in the name of Jesus. He said, as I call it, that is what he will be putting on you. So I am not just make. I'm not, I'm not doing this out of ignorance. I'm naming the things you're supposed to walk away with. And I'm naming it so that you note it down and know that henceforth, you have seven dimensions of help. Seven is the number of perfection, of fullness. So you are walking into the fullness of help, where you never walk into any situation and you find yourself helpless. So help comes upon every man, every woman, every child in this house. Spirit, the spirit of counsel comes to help you. You will enjoy divine directions. In the name of Jesus, your ears henceforth are opened to hear clearly. Your eyes see clearly. You perceive clearly, you have clear understanding. Five, what was that? Four. Five, help from the spirit of might. How can you even have the courage to do the things your heart counsels you if you do not have the spirit of might? It takes courage to live. It is my deepest con conviction that you cannot truly live if you are not courageous. So the spirit of might is a spirit that helps you to execute the plans that the spirit of counsel helps you to devise. So this morning, as a prevailing flame of fire, because you cannot stand before anything and be fire, like Father said, you have to be a flame. For those of you that were not, they take the messages, because you need to understand the difference between being fire and being flame. But today, God says it's not just flame of fire. I want you to prevail in every situation, meaning there is no place to walk into. And because it was too much, because it was, it was no longer paper, you could not burn. There's no place you walk into and because you've been burning wood and now this is metal, you could not burn. Help is coming upon this house from the spirit of might. You will prevail in every circumstances. Paul enjoyed victory in his assignment. You will enjoy victory in your assignment. You will be more powerful than the forces that oppress, that, that oppose you. In the name of Jesus strength you have ability to strategize and to execute that's what help from the spirit of counsel and might brings to you six help from the spirit of the knowledge of God 
from the spirit of knowledge. The spirit of knowledge draws you into the deep things of God. You cannot stay on the surface and be tossed by every wind of doctrine. He helps you to know God experientially, to ex encounter him in intimately. You know him like Father will say, you understand the contour of his face. You know how he moves. You recognize his authority and willingly submit to it. That is what this help from the spirit of knowledge gives you. It's so wide that the time of my ministry cannot allow me to pinpoint them one by one but this is what the Holy Spirit said the spirit of knowledge will come upon you differently and will manifest itself diversely depending on your situation so this morning you are receiving help to enjoy wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God you will no longer be without counsel you will no longer be without common sense and insight you will no longer have to be coerced forced to be to submit to the God that you know when you have seen him as he truly is there is only one response you fall on your knees and when you fall there is only one response he has he has to raise you because when you submit to him you put pressure on him to lift you help is coming upon this house from the spirit of knowledge seven help from the spirit of the fear of God seven dimensions of hell you cannot live without the fear of god and not be a very terrible person there are things you can do you, you this spirit keeps you from doing not because it's necessarily bad but because you revere god the spirit of the reverential fear of god is coming upon you and upon every man upon every child it doesn't matter if you said your child is, is stubborn is it subordinate the spirit of the fear of god is resting on children now and there's and it's resting obedience he's blessing loyalty he's blessing grace the spirit of the fear of God preserves you from evil seven dimensions of hell that's what God came to give you this morning you will no longer be robbed and made small because you did not have the fear of God that kept you from walking into foolishness you will receive that spirit today and begin to function in it from today i decree enjoy the fullness of help in the name of jesus because when you have enjoyed the fullness of help you can say like paul i can do all things through christ that strengthens me rise and let's affirm the word of god together say with me i am a prevailing flame of fire Say it like you are announcing to seas, to mountains, to territories. You are announcing to yourself, I am a prevailing flame of fire. I am mightily helped by the Spirit of the Lord. I am marvelously helped by the Spirit of wisdom and understanding. I am greatly helped by the Spirit of counsel and might. I am mightily helped by the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. I, in a Patrick Grace Henry, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am a prevailing flame of fire. I represent the one who sits on the flaming throne. I am ready for anything through the spirit of the one who helps me. I am the living fire of God that burns his foes wherever I go. I am God's personal assistant in every situation. For it is God who works in me both to will and to do for his good pleasure. I am a prevailing flame of fire of the consuming fire on the earth. I do what God does in the different places I trade. I carry the authority of the Almighty God. I burn with a never-ending intensity and vanquish the fiery darts of the enemy. I am conquering in places I had been conquered. I am a prevailing flame of fire. I am unstoppable, indestructible. 
and unconquerable. Sicknesses and diseases cannot dwell with me. Infirmities and affliction cannot settle with me. Arthritis and cancer cannot dwell with me. The enemy cannot predict me. I am mightily helped by God. Open your mouth and begin to tell God I receive the outpouring. Spirit of the Lord, spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, spirit of counsel, spirit of might, spirit of the fear of God. I have fall upon this house. Fall upon this house. Wash like a mighty wind upon this house. Tell God I receive the help that I don't even know that I do. I receive unpredictable help. Help from the spirit of wisdom. I receive the spirit of counsel. I receive the spirit of the fear of God. I receive the spirit of knowledge. I receive the spirit of wisdom. I receive the spirit of understanding. I receive the spirit of the fear of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have power to execute. 